There is so much Love Island victory around me here. I can almost smell the suntan lotion. It's, well, I'm following it, the footsteps, aren't I? I'm telling you, you really, really are following in, in fantastic footsteps. But you did it. You won. How was that? Um, like Greg would tell you, a surreal, uh, surreal feeling. Greg's but, telling um... me nothing. I've been trying to get stuff out of Greg all day and he is telling me absolutely nothing. So I'm hoping you're going to actually tell me something about what, what it's like. But it's one of those ones, you know, I've, I've always watched the show and, um, and then to be on there was just a crazy feeling. And then to actually win was, you know, the most crazy thing of all. And sometimes I forget it actually happened. You know, you have to watch clips back and, you know, because it's been over, it's been nearly two years now. You sometimes forget it happened. I, yeah, I can imagine. But you, you're going back at it now because while it did go well for you, you are single and you are going back on looking for love on Celebs Go Dating. Why did you decide to sign up to the A-list agency? Um, well, obviously they got in touch with me after myself and Millie went our separate ways. And it wasn't an easy decision. At first, I actually said no. Um, I think it was just, it felt like it was too soon. And I was very much still hurt. I didn't want to hurt Millie either. But, um, you know, I had to think about it and I kind of just went for it then. And, um, I was a bit rusty at first. It, was, it felt very strange at the start. But on the reflection, you know, I met some lovely people. I came away with some good friends. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I did it. Yeah, I can understand you now, man, how... Well, you hadn't dated in two years, as you mentioned. You are a bit rusty, but you are a champion of Love Island. And I'm personally wondering, did you find it a bit easier going into a second dating show? Were you a bit more confident or were the nerves still there? Uh, definitely more confident uh, with how to be on, on TV and camera. But obviously, I was going on to this, you know, the journey was always with Millie um, in the first one. This one was kind of on my own. So that was the more daunting thing. Um, but you said I got used to it. And um, I think Celeb Go Dating is a lot more lighthearted. It's not as serious or as full on as Love Island. Yeah, it is fairly full on now. I can back you up on that one. But especially now, we, we kind of had similar experiences, me and you. We both got backlash at the back of our shows and the girls, I think, uh, got a couple more fans than we did. How did you find all that and dealing with that? Did you find it tough? I know I did, but I processed it well, I, thank God, in the end. Well, when I was actually on the show, at the midway, midway point, you had Casa and more. And, uh, yeah... It didn't go down well from, from um, you know, luckily I was in the villa at that point. So I was hidden away from all the, the hate and the, you know, the trolling. But my sister, my mother, you know, my family had to see it. My sister was running my Instagram account. And the amount of like crazy messages you, you couldn't even think of was was coming through the inbox. So I, I didn't see it. My sister did, you know, and I think by the time I actually won the show, you know, I, I kind of, you know, people started to like me again. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't so bad after leaving. It was still a lot of, a lot, a lot of hate and everything, but, you know, I'm, I'm pretty thick-skinned, so I just kind of get on with it. Yeah, but then you, you kind of risked it again by going on another dating show, and you got a bit more backlash. People are saying it's too soon. But in reality, you had spoken to Millie, right, and she gave you the blessing. Yeah, look, you know, I, I completely get it. It does look like it's too soon, and that's, you know, a massive reason why I wasn't going to do it. But, um... You know, I think you just got to go for things. And, you know, I, I, I did speak to Millie and um, I sat her down, spoke to her about it. And she understands this industry as well. And she was kind of accepting of it. She was, you know, she said, go for it. And, um, like, I wasn't going on the show to think, right, I need to find new love and move on completely. It wasn't a case of that. It was, you know, I'm going to go on there just for myself, um, for the experience and, you know, with an open mind and whatever happens, happens. If I come away with just a great experience and, you know, learn a thing or two, then, then great. But it was, I was going with an open mind. And that's Fair important play. when you go into anything, isn't it? An open mind. But the last time you were on a dating show before this one, you were Liam Reardon, the bricklayer. And now you are Liam Reardon and everybody knows who you are. And now you're being paired with members of the public who, let's face it, might be in awe of you or whatever. How is that dynamic? That must create its own bit of tension. They know so much more about you than you do about them. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Um, <laughs> like, you know, it's the first time meeting these people and and they know who I am. They've seen my journey. Um, but obviously, I don't know them. Uh, but like I said, it was the first time dating for me in a long time on that show. So, you know, it was take a lot, you know, a bit of getting used to, but... You know, he kind, of, kind of got it in the end, but uh, but yeah, I think like dating on there was 
it was easier than dating on the outside. Um, I wasn't ready for that. Dating in that kind of environment, um, it wasn't too serious, you know? So, um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I'm glad that it wasn't too serious because breakups are never an easy thing to go through. But yours, when you add in everybody being invested in your relationship, because that's what happens in Love Island. People watch it, they spend an entire summer watching what happens between two people blossom and bloom, don't they, Greg? Yeah. And then when it all ends, people are also invested in that as well. And there was a tsunami of trolling, wasn't there? And people having different ideas about what happened between you and whether there was, you know, bad behavior. What, what do you have to say about that experience? Well, yeah, you know, a lot of people were invested, but there was no one more invested than myself and Millie, you know? So we were the ones who were actually hurt. And, you know, we had to, we had to you know, announce it and just announcing on Instagram that you've broken up is such a strange thing to do. I know in our industry, we kind of have to. But like the day after that, someone made a tweet or rumor and of me up, up to no good in some festival, but it wasn't true. I wasn't actually at the festival. Um, I was back in Wales. And yeah, just people, as soon as they see something in writing, they assume it's true. And yeah, there's thousands of thousands of like comments slating me and, and you know, all that sort of stuff. But um, that's quite annoying because mm. if I did, if it was true, then I would hold my hand up. Like on Love Island, I did something wrong. I held my hand up, said I was wrong, but I actually didn't do any of these things. And, um, you know, me and Millie, we separated amicably and in a nice way, but that's not enough for some people. Some people want a juicy story behind it. Yeah, yeah. But that's what it was. We, just, we remain friends now. People, they like to be involved in a relationship and, you know, people love Millie, which is obviously good. She's amazing. But then, you know, sometimes people feel like they have to hate me then because she feels, they feel like we hate each other. Yeah. And we don't. No, we're friends. The press sometimes need a bad guy and, and so do members of the public and it's unfortunate. But I have a curveball for you now between Love Island and Celebs Go Dating. What about, just hear me out, leaving the T-shirt on and going down to the pub and meeting somebody? Like, would you ever try that? <laughs> I've, I've tried it many times in the past. <laughs> um, yeah, like I always say, like meeting someone naturally in the pub or, you know, somewhere at a restaurant, there's always the, is the nicest way. You know, you're always looking on like dating apps and Instagram. I'm not on dating apps, by the way. Um, <laughs> it's like it's like looking through a catalog. But meeting someone in real life is, you know, is it's the natural way to do it. But um, yeah, I'll take your advice. Maybe I'll try that. But you know, I'm still kind of focusing on myself as well, and um, you know, trying to do everything for me for now. You know what, Liam? I've a lot of empathy for you, man. We've shared the same experience, and I'm sure you're sick of talking about it just as much as I am. So fair play, you're doing really well, and we Bye can't wait to see you next Monday. Isn't it next Monday? Slebs Go Dating kicks off at 10 p.m. on E4. So looking forward to seeing you in action again, there, man. I'm back in. I'm on the Friday episode, so I come in a few days late. But yeah, okay. Better late than never. Better late than never. We that's can't right. wait. Thanks very much, Thanks, Liam. Liam. Anyway, cheers, guys. Take care. Thank Cheers, you. Man.